Energy monitoring is a big part of Industry 4.0 initiatives. We see a trend in factory automation and that's getting energy visibility at a very granular level down to the individual asset or machine. Industry 4.0 is centered around making data-driven decisions and energy monitoring has become crucial to data collection initiatives. And really there's two main benefits of collecting this data. One, we get to optimize per, uh, machine performance by knowing energy consumption. And two, we can assign real cost to processes and assets and get a true cost to manufacture. At NEF, we have a variety of ways to monitor energy consumption. We can collect data on both air and electrical consumption, and then send that data directly to a higher level system at the SCADA or MES level, or if preferred, we can communicate directly to a PLC. The EM Pro from Phoenix Contact is our go-to product for monitoring the power system. This is a simple, easy to use energy measuring device. It configures and integrates into devices with just a few steps using web-based management and direct connection of either CTs or a Rogowski coil. We can access that data using REST API or any major industrial protocol. Let's give it a look. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick minute here and kind of walk through the demo that we have set up. We have our Phoenix Contact energy monitoring device. And for today's demo, there's no PLC involved. Uh, we're gonna be communicating uh, from this device uh, directly to the PC to kind of simulate what it would be like talking to a higher level system. Uh, for the sake of today's demonstration, we're going to be using ignition. So what we'll have is we'll have a heat gun that we're going to plug into this outlet. And then this outlet uh, has a wire, the, the wire that we're going to be monitoring that's going to be going into the energy monitoring device. We're going to capture that data. We're, uh, for today's demo, we're going to use a Rogowski coil, although you could also use a CT. Uh, at NEF, we really like the Rogowski coil from Phoenix Contact. It's very simple and easy to install. And that being simple and easy to install is great for higher current applications. It just snaps right around a bus bar. So when we go live and we get that guy installed, and we log into the web-based management on the energy monitoring device, we see this. Um, here we can easily configure our device. Uh, on this screen, this is gonna give us real-time values of what the device is actually measuring. Um, we can go in and here is where we're going to go through and take care of our configuration. And that's done with a simple wizard uh, that walks through the setup based on whatever your system power requirements are. So we'd go through and select that. For today's demo, that's already been done. Uh, I mentioned that for today's demo, since we're talking directly to Ignition, we're doing this via REST API. Uh, so we have, this is our JSON string uh, that we're pulling out of this device and we're pulling that directly into Ignition. So this device also is available in a wide range of industrial protocols. So if you prefer to have the pro this be part of your PLC project, we can get that data there very, very quickly and easily with Ethernet IP and a variety of different industrial protocols. Uh, so when we bring this data into Ignition, we end up with a screen that kind of looks like this. Uh, here we went through and this is what our JSON string looks like when we bring it into Ignition. So very simple, we just kind of pull out the data that we'd like to receive. And then in looking at our project, this is the screen that we have put together. So underneath the NEF logo, we have a dial that tells us our current consumption. Over here, we have our voltage as well as our frequency. So right now we can tell we do have power on the outlet. Uh, we have 120 volts, 60 Hertz, uh, although it's not drawing any current. Over here, we're logging and trending uh, the data. Here we're logging it to an SQL database. Over here, we're we're throwing it up on a graph. Right now it's only current, although we could change that very easily, change it to frequency and voltage. So uh, for our demo today, I'm gonna go ahead and switch that back to current. And then I'm gonna plug in our heat gun and we're gonna see that number skyrocket. And you can see we had a little bit of an inrush and then we slowly drop down a little bit where it kind of normalizes. And as this graph progresses, you'll kind of see it automatically rescale a little bit. And we do have a little bit of fluctuation in current that occurs during the process. And again, all this data then is very simple and easy to be able to log this over time in a database. So you could go back and look at historical usage and more importantly, assign, assign real costs to machine operation and production. 
Thanks for watching. Reach out to Neff and our team of automation specialists to see how we can help with your condition monitoring initiatives.